All these songs are gonna get copyrighted. Welcome to another Quick Brother Culture. Why are you screaming? Exactly one day after I purchased it, it's missing the eyes, missing a good amount of forehead. Also bought them the pinata again. They really like this one. What? Put some treats in there. And that's really gonna encourage him to forge. There's a couple of toys in there. Oh, he got it. <laughs> That's for the birds. I'll take this asparagus. Phone fetish having ass. Hey, e in order to get Freeze to talk, you have to spend a lot of time with him. Freeze! That is very true. So today... Oh, damn, new birds out. People are asking if it's all right to house an Indian ringneck with cockatiels. That is not all right. These are two different species. The reason why Freeze is in there is because he actually used to live with cockatiels. I'm pretty sure these two aren't that annoying to him. That's the only reason why he somewhat tolerates them. Freeze has a completely different attitude. He's much more feisty. He just goes through everything. I wouldn't recommend housing two different species. But like I said, Freeze never freeze. Nemo, what the hell are you doing? Always try and keep the same species together. You could always house a bunch of cockatiels. You could always house a bunch of Indian ringnecks. Some spinach. Some lettuce. I believe this is kale. Make it look nice and fancy. Couple personality differences I've noticed between these two. Besides, of course, that this guy's more feisty. As you can see, I don't know what it is, but they probably have like a really short attention span or they have to be doing something. Freeze, the cockatiels are pretty stationary on top of their cage like this, but Freeze is just flying everywhere. <laughs> Look how pumped up he is. When they puff up, that means they're extremely happy. So look at the little potato. Potato! <laughs> he loves it when you blow on him. It's time to put you guys in. Go ahead, Freeze. He just always wants to come out. Newbird was really bad at getting into his cage in the beginning. He has turned a little bit better. He kind of knows. Look at him. Go ahead, Newbird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop smelling me. Is that the booty?
This is the case I use on the Galaxy S9. That's where Freeze usually gets it by. He kills the grip. He just goes for the rubber, dude. <laughs> no rubber, Freeze. No rubber, Freeze. Is that his black ring growing? Do you guys see that? I think he is a guy, honestly. Should we still DNA test him? I should make better videos. Good old celery, some spinning oil, and some broccoli. Look at the birds, they're going at the coconut. That monkey toy is made out of coconut. That's why it's pretty hard and it could be a little bit more difficult for them to break apart unlike that pinata toy. I think he's trying to get in there. I wonder when they're seriously going to start doing serious damage to that. It just looks like they're plucking all the damn hairs. If you own any type of bird, toys are extremely needed in their cage. They need a couple toys to distract them. In order to keep these birds the most happy, I've noticed that the best routine for me to take, first thing I do is I let the birds out, let them fly around the house a little bit. It's always best to give them out of cage time. Give them some greens. The birds love greens. And then take them outside. Birds love to be outside. Yes, they might get a little bit more savage. They might get a little bit more untamed. And like I said, bird toys. Bird toys are a must. Birds love to destroy things. They love to chew. Especially parrots. Freeze here. Even little things like putting spinach inside the toy will keep them distracted for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Want to be careful with the rat. Be careful. Then as soon as I start scratching the rod, that's when crypto get jealous. <laughs> I think Freeze has a camera fetish. Just like my ex. They said it was supposed to be 77 degrees. It is not 77 degrees. KZ has a total of seven animals, three birds, Freeze here, which is around 1.5 years old, I would say. Nismo back here, which I've had for quite some time. I'm not sure how old he is exactly. Lastly, the last bird I've received is New Bird, which actually flew into my backyard. All of my pets are males. All the dogs are males. We have Crypto here, which is around three years old. How about you so beautiful? <laughs> Bless you. The fruit here, which is my oldest dog at 10 years old, probably 11 now, honestly. The rat who is upstairs, currently a little bit sick in my closet. I figured I'd try and give you guys some nice, helpful tips. Since I have pretty good experience with birds, just like with dogs, there are beginner birds. A perfect beginner bird would be a love bird. Lovebirds are known to be extremely affectionate towards their partner, so it's either recommended you have two lovebirds or you spend a lot of time with your lovebird. Here are the most helpful tips that I would give any beginning bird owner. When you first receive your bird, I would say to slightly clip your bird's wings. Clip it just so they could glide downwards, that's all you need. Hey Z, how do you clip a bird's wings? There's a ton of videos on how to clip bird wings on YouTube, so just search that up. The only time I ever clip my bird's wings is when I first receive them. When I first receive them, I try and clip their wings. I want to gain their trust, I want them to understand that I could take them anywhere they would like. And if they fly everywhere themselves, it could take much more time for them to gain trust in you. So just clip their wings a little little bit and make them less mobile. It makes training much easier as well as retrieving your bird. The second tip, give your bird out of time cage. This is extremely important. I notice huge personality differences with the birds when I do not take them out and I take them directly outside versus when I do take them out of the cage and then I take them out. There's a couple reasons why a bird screams. The biggest reason why your bird most likely screams is for attention and that is simply because you pay attention to them when they're screaming. So if your bird is screaming non-stop, just completely ignore them. When they're silent for five seconds, just go ahead and awkward go up to them and praise them either verbally or with treats the reason they're most likely screaming is because you're paying attention to them while they're screaming that goes the same with dogs if a dog's barking or being extremely annoying they're probably accustomed to getting attention when they're doing that so completely ignore bad behavior and when they have good behavior reward them even in the morning before you wake your bird up and they're screaming try and lay low stay nearby and when they calm down 
then you can wake the birds up. A routine such as that is a really nice way to prevent a bird from screaming. Now, of course, birds are birds, so of course they are going to scream nonetheless. Just take into account that some birds are much more loud than other birds. Sun conures are extremely loud birds. Give me some bird video suggestions. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for Feel more. Free to follow me Peace. on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.